Well, the, the club is um, covering all of South Wales. Um, obviously, the biggest aim of the club at the moment is to uh, promote safe kayak fishing. Uh, it's one of the fastest growing sports currently within the UK. Uh, it's getting very popular and obviously is pretty much an extreme sport, you know. So, from a safety angle, uh, it's been a real success forming the club and obviously having the support that uh, different companies and organisations can provide us, you know. Okay, so, so when did you start? Uh, we started in 2009 formally, um, early 2009. Uh, but within the last 18 months, the growth of the club has been huge, you know. It's just trying to establish our network of anglers across South Wales so that you've got people to be able to go out with and, you know, a bit of company on the water and safety in numbers. That's pretty much the, uh, the crux of it, you know. Uh, so safety in how many members have you got? Uh, the membership at the moment is around about 20, 29 members. Um, obviously, you joined me today on Oxwich, one of our annual events. Uh, so we've seen a big growth in uh, members just from today's event, you know. So, kayak angling, what, what is it? Well, pretty much just as, as the says on the tin, you know, it's kayak fishing, yeah. It's, uh, we do it within the sea and, uh, you know, if the sea doesn't suit the conditions, then um, we tend to go on fresh water venues then. So, it's pretty much fishing just from a plastic kayak. Um, as well as the safety angle, there's a great camaraderie within the club. Um, it's something that we strive to, you know, cultivate within the club, um, and that's, that's obviously, you know, it adds to everything when you get a bit of banter and you get good humour and, you know, like-minded individuals basically doing what they, uh, what they really enjoy, you know. Okay. Just go back to the competition. Like, how, how would how would you be marked in the competition? Like, what what happens? Yeah, there's a few there's a few different formats of competitions. Obviously, they differ from the freshwater and the seawater uh, angles. But within the seawater, the um, species hunt predominantly, always catch and release. Um, we're always uh, timed basically on the launch and the return, um, and that's pretty much how they judge then, just across numbers of species and the actual time that's been spent in the water. So you're the grant from Sport Wales. I mean. Uh, what, what, what will you get from that grant? What will it pay for and how will it help? The, the grant is huge to the club. It's huge to the survival of the club. Um, you know, we didn't we didn't appreciate how much expense it is in running the club. Um, purely, you know, the administration costs are covered by club membership. But when you try and grow a club and when you try and do training and safety and trying to, you know, encourage other members, you've got to go that next step. And I think the, the funding from Sports Council Wales will help a lot with that. In, you know, in specifics, um, from a safety angle, a lot of our members now will be uh, improved, trained on VHF courses, um, they'll get their certified, uh, certified coaching and, uh, you know, just become safer users within the uh, watercraft, uh, you know, sport, you know, in general. A, a big, a big um, one of the main important parts for us is to make sure that new members that come along are going out with people who are trained and who are experienced guys, you know, and that's something that a sports grant will help with a lot. Okay, so you go out in the kayak, I mean, what are the safety aspects? What, what would you have to put in place? What do you do? It, it, it is, there's a lot to it, you know. A lot of people go and buy a kayak and it's, you know, just a case of getting out there and, and staying afloat. But when you look at the actual planning, the planning that went into an organisational event like this, you've got to look at the rips in the tides, you've got to look at weather conditions, you've got to look at so many other factors that you don't appreciate when you just go into a shop and buy the boat you know so there's a lot of there's a lot of factors involved within doing a safe kayak fishing trip you know so I mean how, how do you get into uh, kayak angling how did you start um, well it, it was pleasure boat really. Um, I made a few mistakes and uh, pretty much learned from them. Um, it was a case of mixing two sports and a lot of us are very similar in that sense. Um, a lot of the guys that have come into kayak angling are predominantly anglers who are using the boat as a means of transport, you know. So that's why it's important for us to promote that safety without throughout South Wales and, and the UK nationally, you know. Another one of the um, big helpful factors we had is forums online. We've got two main forums, which is Anglers Afloat um, and North Wales Kayak Fishing, and, uh, and they've helped a lot, you know. Okay, so um, the competition today, how, how are you involved? How is the club involved? Well, the club has actually formally organised it all from start to finish. Um, we held a sit on top um, coaching session here last year, and a few people came along to that, and we thought that we could develop that into more so of a competition, you know, for this year. 
So uh, we took it pretty much through the planning stage of December, approached lots of sponsors. The sponsorship has been absolutely great, you know, the sponsorship we've had, Whitewater Consultancy with the Motion Kayaks. We've also had Swansea Angling um, and ABC Camping and the support they've given us. This event wouldn't have happened without their support, so second and under. How many people have you got taking part and where have they come from? Um, within the competition itself, we've got 64 anglers. Um, on the water, actually, sorry, the kayak fishermen. Um, a lot of safety boats as well, you know, so we've had to cover that angle. But um, yeah, it's been great. It's been really good. Yeah, one of the other... Um, biggest aids that the club has had is the RNLI, you know. They've sort of actively supported our development. Um, we've done sort of um, briefs to them, they've hold, held open days for us. Obviously one of the biggest things for us throughout this competition has been the fundraising for the RNLI and the Horton uh, lifeboat uh, guys, you know, we're just around the bay. So yeah, it's a big hats off to the RNLI and how much support that they give the kayak anglers in general. Just one more question as well. It, is it just like Oxford you come to, or do you go like across? Uh, yeah, it's it's all across uh, South Wales pretty much. We come sort of from Aberystwyth all the way down to Pembroke and up as far as Newport Gwent, you know. So any any anglers out there who may come across this and they want to get in touch, they can find out all the details at swka.org.uk. That's our website. Yeah, yeah, bro. So.